So I'm Sophie and I'm just going to ask you a few questions for the BBC School Report 2016. What inspired you to start nursing? Probably my mother. My mother was a nurse. and She died in tragic circumstances when I was 10. And a lot of her rubbed off on me. Now my father was a merchant navy officer, he travelled all over the world. And when you have a dad like that, you grow up knowing where, you have a great sense of where you are in the world, your world. Yeah. And so I always knew that I wanted to be a nurse who helped people overseas. That was my young teenage dream. What do you think is the hardest thing about working in a war zone? Whew. Um, Nurses, doctors, nutritionists, water engineers, civil engineers can accomplish miracles in war zones. But the tragedy is that you can only work within the political framework. So if the politics are wrong, it's like this big glass ceiling. You can only do so much. But in my case, nursing children, um, what do you do when the children have survived? and they're now healthy and ready to go where? Homes, villages, parents maybe, have been bombed into oblivion. So what do you do with all these children? Adults as well, of course, where do they go? And when you look at Syria and the dreadful humanitarian crisis that's unfolding in front of our eyes, you see what the problem is. Where are these people going to go? Because the politics are wrong. What inspired you to turn your story into a book? Oh, it was lots of other people around me, people I'd worked with, people I met along life's way. For about 20 years, they said, you know, you must write some of these extraordinary stories down. And of course you think, write a book. You only do that when you're old. Then I looked in the mirror one day and I thought, mm-hmm, now might be a good time if you're <laughs> going to do it. So I thought I'll give it a go. And boom, it took off. What work have you been doing since you wrote this book? Um, I'm still nursing. I'm 75. And now what I do is I go into people's homes and live with them. Um, vulnerable people, physically, sometimes mentally handicapped, although increasingly it's working with the elderly who are vulnerable because they're aging and they're perhaps not in the best of health. <clears throat> and as you know, the NHS has a crisis regarding beds and we have an aging population um, and there's nowhere for some of these people to go they fall and break a hip or you've you know all about dementia probably increasingly more people have dementia um, families are worried about the cost of care there aren't enough care homes anyway the standards in some of them are questionable so what's what's better than being able to stay in your own home where you feel safe secure with someone who can live alongside you particularly with a nursing background, make sure you're safe and keep you out of hospital, unnecessary admissions to hospital. Um, so that's what I do now. Do you think you'll keep that up for a little while then? I'll keep it up for as long as I can until yeah. I perhaps need care. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm writing my third book as well, which will be about the Middle East. What would you say to the young people today who are considering a career in nursing? Oh, I would say go for it. It opens up so many avenues of learning, study, and you, you learn lessons that are impossible to teach in a classroom or a lecture hall. There's no better education about people and places and cultures so different from our own than being a nurse. It's a wonderful profession. Okay, thank you very much.